and I have the credit card. So you're going to justify it for yourself to say it's emergency. All right? So you go and you, I don't want to come back. You go and it's like, and you go pay it off right on time. But still, the fact with the haram, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَةِ Don't go near zina. Don't go near it. So the same thing. Just to get into the process of issuing and applying and getting it, if that, that is where the problem is. Maybe if you need, then you're going to try to use different means. You're going to call a friend, you're going to call a brother, you're going to call a relative. You kind of convince, I don't, there is no, the example you give, there is no hospital that will decline your treatment if you don't have money. They will bail you, okay? But I don't know of any hospital that before they do the operation you have to pay. I don't know. Maybe there are some private hospitals, you know? But I don't know. They usually will bill you. Actually, they'll talk to you about the payments after the, the emergency is done. If it's an operation that is not emergency and they're, I don't even think by the law they're allowed to do that. They have to treat you. I mean, I know, and usually with, the, with, with hospitals, they will negotiate with you until like, I, have, I know a friend, I know a friend whose father came to visit and he went into the hospital for 13 days. His bill was 420,000. 420,000. The bank representatives came to his son. His father left. He doesn't even have live here. He doesn't have papers here. He was visiting. They went to his son. They negotiated with him and they brought it down to $5,000. 420,000. And at the end, the son said, It wasn't me. It's my father. I'm not responsible. <laughs> so even $5,000, he would not pay. But that is how far they are willing to go. So I don't, with, with these things, I, I don't see there is emergency. But if it's emergency, real emergency, and that is your only source, and you have it, well, what can we say? If it's life or death, what can we say? But the fact is, we go back to the, to the basics, is why you have it. If you know it's haram, why you have it? Okay? It's like buying a couple of bonds and having it in your, in your back pocket, just in case of emergency. Why you have it? All right? Stuff like that. So get rid of it. Get rid of it. Some people use that, the excuse that I need to build my credit, I need to do that. I, well, usually, usually, let's look in this country, usually people want to build their credit so they can borrow money. You know, someone might say, oh, but you need good credit to get gas in your house. Right? Some, some houses still use gas, you have to have credit, or electricity. Or, well, there are a million people who can intercede for it. A million people you can take it over under their name. But usually people want to have good credit, so they can borrow money. You can get a house, you can buy a car, you can borrow money for his business. And where is it in this country that is halal to borrow money? Without all these ribawi conditions. Yeah? I don't think good credit is good credit, and that's good for you. But to build a good credit in a haram manners, it's not worth it. And say, for instance, you're trading stocks on the stock market, right? Is there any point uh, in that where is haram to trade stocks? We haven't talked about stocks. Yeah, okay. We'll talk about it in detail, inshallah. Well, let's say I've decided to start my close my account, but I still have to pay a payment. I'm still doing haram? No. 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 If you, I need to tupt? Yes. Haram. So you repent to Allah, and you still have to make payments. You, you make them as soon as you can. If it's the payment is $500, and you want to go $100 a month, and that's making interest recur, and if you can't pay the 500 you go ahead and you pay, you, you pay the whole thing. My recommendation is pay what you owe. Even if there is interest, don't pay the interest. Or call them and negotiate with them. Tell them, listen, I owe you, I owe you 300 and you charge me 200 interest, so a total of 500, I'll pay 300 and you, you forgive the rest. Most probably they're going to be okay with that. Or I won't pay you anything. <laughs> they will take the 300, so you don't pay interest. But if you got into a loan from the past, okay, 
That's why I prepared you for it with the good, good credit, bad credit. If you got a loan from the past, and it's through riba, and you regret, and you want to repent, okay, you want to repent, pay what you owe, and let them run after you with the rest, for the rest. I got a simple question. And you can negotiate with you're willing to pay what you owe, you can negotiate with them. Um, it's probably running in everybody's mind right now is whether or not there should be a bank. Islamic bank. Uh, right, Islamically speaking. Now, is there sh should there ever be a bank? There is. There are. How does an Islamic bank make money? Well, we, we talked about too many ways from before. One way, who, 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 can, who tells us? One way we mention. Buy, buy the house. Okay. They walk in, they, they, they pay the bank that owns or the, the owner of the house. Okay. The money is asking for it. And then they turn back to you and they tell you, okay, the, the, the house costs $300,000 and we're willing to give it to you. And you're going to pay it over, let's say, 30 years. And it's going to cost you, we're going to sell to you for 500000 That's one way. That's murabah. And that's, that's permissible. Of course. And that does not fall into the... No. There are many ways. One of the ways we mentioned, bayr, or a specific kind of bayr. We said bayr, bayr is salim. Bayr is salim. Remember when we talked about that? We said bayr is salim, for example. You, you are a farmer, for example. Or you're, you, wanna, you have a factory but you don't have money to run it. So you go to the bank and you sell them your you sell them products. They lend you the money and you sell them that you're gonna give them the products in six months. You don't have to say it's your product, but you you describe it, full description. So when you when you go and you, you tell them, okay, you're you you're gonna sell them a thousand cans of uh, cat food. Alright, whatever it is thousand cans of cat food, you're gonna give them, they're gonna lend you the money that you need to run your factory, okay? They're actually not lending, they're buying the thousand cans of cat food in six months to get it. The fact they're gonna get their stuff in six months, you're gonna sell it to them cheaper than the market value in six months. So if the, the thousand cans of food will sell in the market for a thousand dollars, then when you sell it to them six months before they get it, you're going to sell it for 70 cents each. So that's 7000 or $700. So when they get their thousand cans after six months, even though they, gave, they, they bought it for, for, for whatever money, $500 you borrowed, or you actually sold it for, they can go and sell it for 700 Okay? And we talked about the Salam al muwazi where the bank, at the same time, they can go and make a deal with another person to sell him a thousand cans of cat food in six months and two days. Uh, of course, I know how to bank work. I just wasn't sure if there was any such thing. There yeah, are many ways, many ways, bank. Islamically. Islamically, the bank can go partners. Tawarruq, uh, also tawarruq is, is another way where banks make money. What that, what that is, uh, you want you you want thousand dollars, okay? So the bank sells you a product. So you want a thousand dollars. The bank will tell you, that's fine. We will sell you a product. You can go around and sell that product for a thousand dollars in the market. So the bank will go and sell it to you. Let's say the bank uh, uh, will sell it to you for twelve hundred dollars. The bank gets it for a thousand dollars. They have possession of it. They'll sell it to you for twelve hundred. You need a thousand, so you take that product from the bank and you go sell it for a thousand dollars. So you have your thousand dollars, but you, ha you, you have to pay the bank twelve hundred for what? What what you have? Is it is it a loan? It's a It's not a loan. They no no it's not collateral. What they sold you. They did not collect the money on the spot. They gave you like uh, finance, for example. Okay, you can, we can sell it to you for 1200 You pay us over the next 12 months. So very much your first payment is next month. 
all right however you already have the product you go in the market and you sell it you have you own it now so you go you sell it for a thousand dollars you 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 do what you have to do and then next month you pay them a hundred two months later another hundred so here you have the thousand